Yes, uh, once again, welcome to Dr. Mnelwa's lecture. Today we are going to proceed in our lecture of environmental physics. And today we are going to see about the aerial environment. Uh, kwenye topic ambayo ambayo angala kwenye agricultural physics. Kwa hiyo, leo nila kuangala aerial environment kama nikitengele kimoja wapo cha kwenye agricultural physics. Uh, hiyo naenda kuangala application of physics kwenye man-made and the natural environment. Sasa leo kwenye hili environment refers to the atmospheric condition resulting from the series of processes occurring in the atmosphere. This include air, temperature, wind, humidity and the rainfall. Kwa unajua hili marake kwenye uku kwenye ewa ndo unavongelea hili. Kwa kama tunongelea hili ni kwenye ewa Tenda kuangela vitu vitu vitatu Vitu air temperature, wind, humidity and rainfall Effect ya temperature kwenye plants Umake nongela hapa tuko kwenye kipengele ambacho kuna sema agricultural physics Tenda kuangela effect ya air temperature kwenye agriculture Wind ina effect vipi mazao au mimea Humidity ambao ni ule unyevu unyevu Una effect vipi mimea na rainfall ambao ni mvua sasa tukianza na kipengele cha kwanza ambacho ni humidity. Humidity tunaongelea about atmospheric moisture. Maana ni ule unyevu unyevu ambao uko angani. Unyevu unyevu na faida zake na ukizidi una hasara zake. Sasa tuje tuangalie hapo importance zake na baadhi ya pointi zitakuwa na some disadvantages. Tukianza na humidity ambayo ni atmospheric moisture, tunasema pointi ya kwanza high humidity helps plants to conserve water for various activities make unyevu nyevu kiwa mwingi angani sasa kipindi cha mvua kile mmea inakuwa na hypothesis maji mengi sababu ile process ya transpiration ya kulo, ya kuloss is ile water through radiation by evaporation inakuwa ifanyiki kwa kiwango kikubwa sababu zile transpiration inakuwa inafanyika tu angani hiyo zile evaporation itakuwa inachukua ile unyevu nyevu angani Ukosekana angani pakiwa pakavu sana angani itakuwa ina kuchukua unyevu unyevu kwenye majani kwa hiyo high humidity helps plants to conserve water for various activities sababu mmea unakuwa uruzi maji mengi lakini point ya pili kwenye humidity tunasema but when humidity is low hii ikiwa tukona angalia kwenye excess na ikiwa low when humidity is low moisture is low moisture loss is high for plant this may that into plant drying kwa hiyo moisture ikiwa chini sana itarudi itarudi kusababisha kwenye result of plant drying sababu pakiwa pakavu sana mmea utakauka sababu utakuwa na loss maji mengi me, mengi sana na ukipoteza maji mengi mwisho wa siku mti utakauka au mmea utakuwa umekauka ndio maana manyasi yanakauka kipindi cha kiangazi sababu unakuwa pakavu unakuwa kuna low atmospheric moisture na kitu cha pili ndakuangalia about air temperature. Kwenye air temperature hapa ndio tukaangalia ikiwa optimum na ikiwa ime increase, ikiwa ni excess. Ah, uh, in air temperature, optimum temperature favor favor most plant process such as photosynthesis, respiration na transpiration. Kwamba respiration inafanyika kwa namna ya kawaida, transpiration inafanyika kwa namna ya kawaida na photosynthesis mmea anajitengenezea chakula chake una lose maji kama mtu anavotoa jasho na unafanya shughuli zote za respiration zinakuwa zikiendelea huko ndani ya mmea na point ya pili kwamba rise in air temperature increase the rate of physical and chemical reaction that determine a plant that grows and it air temperature ikiongezeka ina increase the rate of physical and chemical reaction zile reaction kwenye mmea unakuwa unafanyika kwenye namna ambayo sio ya kawaida kwa hiyo na hizo hizo chemical reaction hizo ambazo zina determine plant rate of growth and development kwa hiyo nota kama mmea fulani kamekaa kana afya kaelewekeleweki muda fulani temperature ikiongezeka hapa ndio maana mimea waga ta haistawi sana kwa sababu ile chemical reaction inakuwa yendi in the normal condition ah tunaweza kusema kwamba point ya tatu kwenye air temperature 
Excessive high temperature increases the loss of moisture from the plant and soil, hence plant wheat. Kwa hiyo mea mea utakauka. Mea ukikauka ni kwa sababu ya excessive high temperature, kwa sababu ya nini? Loss of moisture. Due to the evaporation sababu patakuwa pa kavu moisture atakuwa hamna kwenye atmosphere. Kwa hiyo zile air zitaanza kuruzi maji ina through transpiration hiyo evaporation itakuwa ita na convert ile moisture kwenda kwenye gas inaenda ku convert na kwenda kwenye clouds kwa hiyo anga ardhi itakuwa kavu mmea utakauka hiyo ni excessive high temperature ah kuna ka concept ya question ya ka simple simple kwa hapa kanasema what happens on plant when air temperature is a, excessive low yani ka kipindi cha baridi aya utakuwa kule kwenye kwenye miji ambayo inakuwa ina ina barafu ile unataka ukaongea uka, uka kuhusu effect gani za plant zinatokea pale hizo uh, au au majibu yote utanipatia ili tujue kama tuko pamoja uh, eh, kitu kingine ambacho tuliongelea pale baada ya kuona humidity air temperature sasa hivi tuende kaongelee about wind moving air. Tunapoongelea upepo tunaongelea hewa inayotembea. Ah, uh, point ya kwanza tunasema moderate wind favor evaporation of water from plants leaf and thus maintain water balance for proper plant growth. Moderate wind wind ile ikiwa ile ya kawaida ina favor evaporation of water from plant leaves. Na kwa kiwango hicho tunasema thus maintain water balance for proper plant growth. Na point ya pili nasema wind is aid in the process wind is the aid in the process of pollination. Kwenye kile kwenye ile process ya pollination wind pale ni aid kwamba ni ki, kitu kimoja hapo ancho kinahusika kwenye pollination movement of pollens from one flower to another flower. Ile wind waga nafanya kazi hiyo natural pollination wind inahusika pale essential in fruit development but a strong wind can cause excessive water loss from plant because wind kills some of the moisture in the air away kwa hiyo wind ikiwa in excess some strong wind can cause excessive water loss from plant because wind kills some moisture in the air away na point ya nne tunasema it Uh, point ya tunasema also strong wind can cause toppling of plants hiyo ni point ya nne na tuje tuangalie kwenye effect ya nyingine ambayo ni ya nne tunasema rainfall na point ya kwanza tunasema rainfall provide water which is essential for the growth of plant hiyo ni point ya kwanza lakini point ya pili tunasema rainfall helps in maintaining the temperature of the plant and in uptake of the nutrients from the soil maki rainfall tunajua ni maji yanakuwa yananyesha kutokea angani ni mvua matonya matonya yanadondoka yanatoa jua udongo kitoa jua udongo nutrient tunajua mbolea kwa mfano ile organic manure tunaiweka ile organic manure Organic manure hapa ndo ardhi hiyo. Huo ndo mmea. Umejiotea hapo. Mm. Huko ndo kuna udongo. Sasa organic manure hizo tunaziweka kama kwenye mmea. Au nutrients zote hata inza kawa keni zile mbolea za kiwandani sasa mvua ikinyesha drop zikidondoka hapa drop zikidondoka hapa utakuta is nutrient za hapa zitaanza kushusha huko chini ndio point ambayo tunaiongelea hapa kwamba mvua inasaidia kwenye kuzishusha hizi 
nutrient ziko chini kwa hiyo hata na mvua ikizidi hapa inasababisha leaching of nutrient nutrient zitatoka zitaenda mbali zaidi hiyo ni moja kati ya effect ya mvua ikizidi nutrient zitatoka zitaenda mbali zaidi mhm mm point tatu sema rain water act as a solvent for mineral movement through the plant can you kueleza hapo ina act kama solvent kwa hiyo ina unavyojua ile rain ni water ni, ni maji tu ya kawaida kwa hiyo unajua ma, maji it is a universal solvent kwa hiyo hata rain act as solvent for mineral moving through the plant but uh, excessive rainfall led to the water lodging in soil and causing root spoil make maji mvua ikinyesha nyingi mvua ikanyesha nyingi hapo mvua ikanyesha nyingi ikanyesha nyingi utakuta maji yametoama let's say kwenye hichi kitu sasa maji akitoama hapa kwa muda mrefu kwenye ile ali za sasa za mfinyanzi maji akatoama hapo kwa muda mrefu yatasababisha hii mizizi ya mmea huko kuanza kuoza mizizi ya mmea utaanza kuoza kwa sababu ya ile maji yamesimama hapa kwenye udongo na huko na bacteria na some other organisms ziko mbona zinasababisha spoiling za hiyo na wakati kuna mmea kwenye maji fulani kuta mmea na dondoka kwa sababu likawa kwenye maji muda mrefu kwa hiyo hicho ndio kitu kingine ambacho ni effect ah uh, tumalizie kipengele chetu hapa cha aerio eh tusema tu tuje kuongelea na wind belt what is wind belt wind belt a region on earth that have predictable air current caused by the an eco heating of the earth by sunlight and ac spine tunapoongelea wind ile wind unavyoona wind wind kama wind wind kama wind unaojua inasababishwa na niko heating of the air surface make upande mmoja huu upande mmoja ukawa umekuwa heated sana na upande mwingine ukawa umekuwa heated kidogo ndipo wind inatokea ndio kwenye region ambayo imekuwa heated sana imekuwa heated kidogo ina move ina move hapo inaenda kwenye region ambayo imekuwa heated much kwa hiyo inakuwa inafanya movement kama hizo hiyo ndo wind belt ambayo tunaiongelea sasa tuje tu discuss hapa vizuri sema wind belt a region on this that have predictable air current air current tunaongelea ile sema mbovu upepo unatembea kama maeneo ya jangwani jangwani kule tunazikuta sana hizi wind belt caused by an eco heating of this by sunlight and ac spine effect of wind belt on plants some wind belt receive high rainfall which is essential for plant growth maka tunaongelea belt tunaongelea ni ukanda yani kuna kanda fulani za maeneo fulani ambazo zinaweza kuwa na experience na kwa sababu experience hiyo huo upepo mkali yani hiyo ndo ni njia za upepo hizo ndo ambazo tunaziongelea hapo sema some wind belt receive high rainfall na wakati kuna baadhi ya maeneo kuna mvua nyingi which is essential for plant growth na maeneo kama hayo mimea waga ni stawi sana but others wind belt maeneo mengine yenye ukanda wa hiyo upepo have little rainfall causing an proper plant growth kwa hiyo ni inverse ya hiyo na strong wind in this region may cause the loss of plant leaves and the flower as well as toppling or toppling of plants maki unajua upepo ukiwa mkali sana upepo ukiwa unapuliza ukiwa unapuliza kwa speed kubwa na upepo unafanya, unafanya movement za, za, za speed kubwa una 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 move kwa speed kubwa na mwisho wa siku uje kukutana na jani la mmea hapo limekaa hapo jani la mmea kwa hiyo alafu na jani la mmea nyoyo hapa ni laini uje kujishikilia hapo mwisho wa siku mmea utakuwa utaanza kuruzi utaanza kuruzi majani yake na 
akitawa kiendelee hicho chote. Kwa hiyo na mimi mwisho wa siku naweza kukaa hapa kwa sababu utakuwa unashinda kufanya kwa ndefisi sisi. Increase effect nyingine ya wind belt kwa sababu tunajua effect ya wind tulisoma hapo juu kwamba ita ina increase the rate of transpiration. Kwa hiyo ya kipande chetu cha agricultural physics tumefika mpaka hapa tumesoma leo influence of aerial pla, environment on plant growth tumesoma na wind belt na kipangele kicho kilicho bakia ni soil and the techniques for improving plant environment kwa hiyo nadhani tukutane kwenye kipindi kijacho na don't forget kama utakuwa unahitaji kipindi chochote anaweza kanitafuta cha physics kiwe magnetism current electronics uh, it modern physics au nuclear physics na topic topic nyingine nyingine nyingi fluid dynamics wave unaweza kanitafuta hapo kwa kipindi yeye kinachofuatia tunaenda kudiscuss about soil eh tutaenda kuangalia soil hapo tutakiangalia soil ina vitu vingi vingi tunaangalia soil soil temperature vitu vingi vingi viko hapo kwenye soil control of soil temperature soil color properties of soil improvement of soil of plant environment kwa hiyo tunaenda tutaangalia vitu vingi vingi hapo afu na mada pili yetu itakuwa ni energy from the environment basi nikutakia ufuatiliaji mwema wa Dr. Mnelwa's lecture namba yangu kama kawaida ni 0693 6624 0693 6624